Hey everyone, this is Paul from Orthway Valpal. Have you ever had inner shoulder blade pain, especially right in this area, right here? Now, I've been a therapist for a long time, and when I was a new grad therapist, I used to treat a lot of people with what we suspected was rhomboid strain or levator scapula strain. And so we would work on this with soft tissue modalities. And then come to find out, as we started working on people's necks, this was starting to go away. So one thing that we have learned over time and with some of the research that is out there and some of the research has done studies where they have taken a needle, put it into the discs, especially into the lower part of the neck and people have pain here. Now we think about pain going down the arm in radiculopathy, so going you know into the neck and down into the arm, but you can also have pain into the chest area or front of the shoulder and more often than not, pain will go down to the inner part of this shoulder blade area. So one of the things you need to do to try to recognize if this is your neck or not is really simple. If you take your neck and bend it back and tilt it toward the side that hurts and rotate toward the side that hurts, if that causes this pain to increase on the inner part of your shoulder blade, then you can be pretty sure that it's coming from your neck. It could be a disc that is starting to kind of tear a little bit. It could be the nerve root that comes from there, kind of like a pinched nerve that causes you some discomfort. But that, as that disc starts to become damaged a little bit or inflamed or irritated, which many parts of your body can be, um, it can cause pain down here. So I want you to remember that. Now, what are some of the things that you can do to help this? Well, what I tell some people is that you take the chin and you tuck the chin back and try to make the low part of the scalp here kind of push up toward the ceiling and you try to expand this area. Some people will do well with traction in a traction device and I'll leave a link up above so you can take a look at what that looks like and that can be very relieving of this pain that you have in here. Now you don't need to panic just because you have shoulder blade pain and worry about a disc but maybe changing your posture, um, sitting in a better position, maybe not looking down at your devices uh, and keeping yourself just a little more upright can be helpful. Sometimes some medication can help decrease inflammation around the cervical spine. And then meeting with a therapist to get some good exercises on posture um, can also be helpful. But the most common cause of pain in the inside part of this shoulder blade is some irritation to the lower part of the neck, especially around the disc. So I hope that you found that helpful today uh, in trying to figure out why you might have shoulder blade pain. Thanks.